Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I previously uploaded uh, the video about uh, the web UI I developed uh, for running stable diffusion. Some of the viewers request uh, to develop an uh, uh, image to image method for it as well. So I did some research and uh, I want to share with you about uh, how to run image to image using stable diffusion using AMD GPU on Windows. So let's uh, get started. So uh, if you uh, have followed uh, my previous uh, two videos, I think uh, you already have the Python environment. If you don't have them, uh, please go back to install the environment. So we need to start the Miniconda prompt. So, and we need to activate our Conda environment. So, for my local computer, it's called uh, SD39. Okay, so the script I have developed uh, has been uploaded uh, to the Google Drive. Here is the link will be put in the description so you can download it. So it's very similar to the previous version for the text to image. So this time I made some modification about the pipeline and also the input. So you can take a look, it uh, uh, should be straightforward. So after you download it, uh, Similar to previously, you should uh, put it uh, under the same directory as your model, the the stable diffusion OMMX folder. So, for example, you place it here. So, let's copy the name. And then you are ready to go. So back to our prompt, we enter Python and then Control V, the name of the Python script. So and uh, enter. As usual, there are some warning messages, but that's okay. It uh, also takes a while due to the large model it needs to load. All right, yeah, so here we go. I think uh, uh, it's very similar to the previous version. So. Here, I have added uh, the input uh, image. So you can drag and drop image here, or you can click to upload. And on the right is the same interface. There's the uh, output, then there's a download button when the image appears. So, um, so I will give it a quick, quick test drive. Let's uh, look at, uh, I will use this one as an example. So, and I will put some prompt here. Blue sky, 4K. And you can also optionally can put some negative prompt. So after that, you make sure you have your prompt correctly entered and uh, you can click uh, submit. And it will start uh, the rendering, so inference. So let's uh, look at uh, here 
and there's a progress bar here. And uh, I will also show you the statistics from this uh, software. So you can see the on the left side, there's a GPU utilization. Yes, as we kicked off our process, it started uh, like working hard. Yeah, one thing I noticed that uh, if you notice that uh, is uh, the VRAM, I think I also noticed by previous uh, like uh, comments, some viewers noticed that the utilization is very high for the AMD GPU. Uh, also, the the power consumption is not uh, very high. So I think that's a good thing. That means it's efficient um, in terms of power consumption. Okay, it's uh, complete. Yeah, we can see the GPU uh, resumes to normal. No, so. It seems it didn't uh, release the RAM. So that's uh, an area that can be optimized, I guess. But others seems, uh, seems good. OK, let's look at our results. So. Yeah, I think uh, it might be due to my my too simple prompt. So if I put some more description, I guess we can turn it into a a real like a beautiful image. But if, but now I think you can get the idea, right? So you basically previously you only use your description to ask the model to generate the image. But now, like in addition to the text prompt, you can like give some more descriptions by like using a detailed input image. For example, the location of the mountain, the location of the river, the location of like other things you are interested in. So you can basically provide a more direct uh, instruction to the model so it uh, can understand you better so you are able to control it uh, like a, like with more control so i think that's basically the idea so uh i hope you give it a trial let me know if anything comes up and that also if you the like to share any uh, comments, please comment here. So I will give you like uh, some answers. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Bye bye.